Hey, hope you're having a great day so far. Today is February 4th, Thursday, and on this post, I'll be telling you about the overall crypto markets very quickly, which includes Bitcoin dominance and Bitcoin price action, before diving into Stellar XLM USD and see what exactly has gone on in here since the last time I've spoken. I'll be telling you about the bullish and bearish case scenarios for today, as well as the short term price prediction on this market, according to what I'm seeing on the charts. Before I begin today, if you guys are watching me on YouTube, do subscribe. If you guys are watching me on TradingView, do follow me as I'll be keeping you updated on the latest crypto setups on my watch list, regardless if it's a good day or a bad day. If you guys do want to support me and don't already have a Weibo brokerage account, you guys can use my referral link down below. Just start giving away four, uh, two free stocks, excuse me, two free stocks now as of today upon a successful sign up and a qualifying deposit of 100 US dollars. And I will also receive a referral bonus if you guys sign up under me. Please also read my full disclaimer below. I am not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. I'm purely sharing my own speculation opinions on this market. I cannot tell you the future and you should always do your own due diligence before trading or investing in this market as it's extremely risky and volatile. If you guys have any questions or comments, please do only leave them in the comment section below, but I'll try my best to get to as many of them as possible. Now see what exactly is going on in this market first. Most importantly, as you take a look into Bitcoin dominance, tells me what a money could be trading into. Would it would be Bitcoin, altcoins, or neither. Currently, we do have Bitcoin dominance down over 0.5% today. So this breaks down to Bitcoin price action down slightly at about 0.2%. But total altcoin market cap is outpacing Bitcoin price action today. So basically a pretty ideal scenario in my opinion because Bitcoin dominance continues trending downwards. As what I've been saying, if Bitcoin dominance continues trending downwards, better price action, generally speaking, for the altcoins, both on the upside and downside. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing. And as of yesterday, I did mention that on the daily time frame was still my focus here on the Bitcoin dominance chart because I am looking for Bitcoin dominance to continue making daily lows without bullish divergence. I don't, in my opinion, I don't like seeing Bitcoin dominance trending back up. So I don't want to see bullish divergence when Bitcoin dominance continues to make new lows. And daily time frame is what I'm focusing on. And right now, it does seem like we have negated. Uh, we have actually made a new low here on the daily time frame without bullish divergence on the Bitcoin dominance chart. Bitcoin price action here has not done too much. It does seem like it's still forming that initially uh, my initial guess there of a ascending triangle pattern. But it looks like it could also be a, a cup and handle pattern as well which should also fit within um, this ascending triangle pattern as of right now, but I should see. Um, but I think a uh, cup and handle pattern or ascending triangle pattern, uh, either of those looks like it could fit right now, but as it develops more, um, I could change and adjust the pattern according to uh, what's more developed there. So on the Bitcoin price action chart, the daily 21 MA is still the key support now uh, since the price action has broken on top of it, okay. Uh, when Bitcoin price action actually gets rejected um, at one of these possible points, this could bring the altcoins down with it. The magnitude of that effect of Bitcoin dumping will still depend on Bitcoin dominance and which way Bitcoin dominance is trending and how far in each direction it is trending. Now. Let's take a look into Stellar real quick and see what exactly has gone on since last time I have spoken. Since the last time we have spoken, I did mention that there was a symmetrical triangle pattern on the daily time frame that was most apparent. Symmetrical triangle patterns are continuation patterns. In this case, would be bullish, 60% chance of it breaking upwards, which it had. Um, and the measure target there was about 45 cents. The conservative measure target was about uh, 45 cents, okay? Um, measure targets are approximate theoretical targets only. May actually be different in real life price action, more or less. Now, let's also revisit the higher time frames and see if we have any overbought RSIs or possible bearish divergence scenarios. On the monthly time frame here, we look okay as it's ex it's slightly overbought, but nothing. Uh, it doesn't seem like I would be concerned here on the monthly time frame. 
on the three on the weekly time frame here let's see there was there is the possible bearish divergence depend actually there was uh because of comparing to last week's close here comparing this high with this high right here however a lower high on the rsi indicating to me that bullish uh the bulls were actually losing momentum on this new high right here but it does not seem to uh, have actually yielded a pullback so far for this week's candle. Let's see if the bulls can actually continue and actually uh, negate this possible bearish divergence scenario. But I'll be a little careful here because last week it did finish with bearish divergence, indicating that bulls were losing momentum on last week's high. And we are in overbought territory as well. So this is something um, I'll be a little cautious of and keep it uh, and keep it in the back of my head um, while looking at this market. On the three day time frame, it does not seem like we do have a, uh, let's see, I would actually be comparing this high with this new high right here. So there is still bearish divergence, a little bit of a pullback here, getting supported by this, uh, FIB level right here at about 32.5 cents. So let's see how far this uh, bearish divergence actually plays out. Usually, like I said, when I do see bearish divergence on a specific time frame, my conservative estimate is that I'm going to pull back to the next closest moving average, which is the 3-day 21MA. Let's see if the bulls are actually able to hold this price up and not drop significantly down to the 3-day 21MA right here, which is still pretty down here about uh, 23.5 cents okay so something i'm paying attention to on the daily time frame on this new high right here let's see so i won't be comparing this new high with this high because it's not it has not uh became an equal or higher high yet so i'll be comparing this high right here with this last high and in that case i think there's i mean there's it depends on how, I mean, technically there is not bearish divergence because it's slightly higher. Um, so I don't think uh, I'll be too concerned here, but it just depends on how other traders are reading it. But technically there is not bearish divergence, okay? Now let's take a look into the smaller time frames here uh, and, see, and revisit what I said last time. Since last time, it did look like there was a cup and handle pattern that could have been playing out, however, price action fell through okay so this was let me re-illustrate what was going on last time so there was a bigger rounded bottom here smaller rounded bottom so that was a cup and handle pattern however price action got to about uh the neckline of this pattern about 34 cents which i did say was the neckline and the resistance to break out of uh before getting rejected very hard uh back down to about 29.5 cents retried got as far as about 36 cents. Okay, so this seems to be the next resistance. Let's see what, um, so right now it does seem like the cup and handle pattern has to be invalidated because this no longer really looks like a cup and handle pattern. Let's take a look into what else it could actually be looking like. Let's switch over to the 12 hour time frame. I do think there's a more of a pattern over there. This would be my top trend line. So this could actually be the new pattern, which looks like an ascending triangle pattern to me. Ascending triangle patterns are bullish patterns. 63% chance of it breaking upwards if I am right on this. Okay. Verify that stat on your own, about the 63%. If this actually does break upwards, I do have a measure target here of a slightly under 43 cents. Okay, that's the measure target. Theoretical approximate target only it may actually be different in real life price action, more or less. Okay, so let's take a look into the bullish and bearish case scenarios here. Bullish case scenario, if I am right about this A setting triangle pattern and we start getting Let's see if we have any any hour uh any lower time frame candle closes above this top trend line of about 35 cents now, okay? 4 hours not even 
we do have hourly candles. So let's start from the four hour time frame up because we have not had any four hour candle closes above this top trend line. So getting a four hour close should tell me that this would be a breakout of this ascending triangle pattern. Okay. Um, so bullish case snail price action breaks out of this top trend line and go towards this measure target. What I'm looking for will be a four hour candle close above this top trend line. Okay. To be safe. The top trend line is about 35, slightly uh, above 35 cents here. Okay. So I'm looking for a four hour candle close above this top trend line, um, to be safe and see if this actually breaks out to the measure target. Bearish case scenario. Price action breaks below this bottom trend line right here. I don't think this pattern would be broken because the 4 hour 50 is right underneath this bottom trend line that should still keep this uh, shape intact, uh, which looks like an ascending triangle pattern. So I think this, uh, this pattern right here should stay intact even though if the price action does break this bottom trend line, I still do have the 4 hour 50 MA right underneath it. Let's see what other moving averages are still underneath it that could be acting as support. I think the 6 hour 50 is a little lagging behind, but that could be if it actually does come up. Um, I actually don't think so. It's too flat there. So let's take a look into the 12 hour. The 12 hour 21 looks like it could be more responsive that could come up to the bottom trend line. So quite a bit of support below this bottom trend line. So even if it looks like the price action breaks this bottom trend line, this ascending triangle pattern shape should still stay intact. Of course, I'll pay attention to how the price action acts at each of these key support levels I have just pointed out. Now, these are my bullish and bearish case scenarios for today. Let me know if you found it helpful. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Let me know agreements, disagreements, feedback. I would love to hear them. Hope you manage your risk carefully. And if you would like to see any more of my most recently uploaded videos on YouTube, you guys can check out my links up here on YouTube. See you next time.